Astoria and Beverly Hills. Let me give you the grand tour. We have a beautiful little mirror. And then let me show you the closet. How gorgeous is this closet? I cannot wait to hang up all of my things. I'm going to get a shower or a bath and I'm going to throw on this very cozy looking robe. This is the bathroom. How beautiful. I can't believe this is going to be my bathroom for the next two days. All mine. I've stayed in some nice hotels, but this is hands down the nicest hotel room I think I've ever stayed in. Beautiful bed. Look at the crown molding. The light in here is beautiful. And then the best part about the room is this incredible view. Ooh, there's something going on down there. <laughs> Trying to zoom in on their party. Well, I am officially on California time. I arrived at the hotel probably a little over an hour or so ago, and I've just been kind of getting settled and relaxing a little bit. I spent a little time on the beautiful balcony simply because the weather is so beautiful, and this room has an epic view, so it's really beautiful to just sit outside. There's some sort of event going on at the hotel next door. I've been curiously spying on the event, seeing what's going on over there, but it's Oscars weekend in LA, so of course there are going to be a ton of different events. I'm sure all of the celebrities are in town, and it's kind of the perfect weekend to be here. feel incredibly lucky. This room is amazing. I woke up this morning at 7 a.m. I had coffee. I didn't have time for breakfast because I was too busy getting ready and doing all of the last minute things that you inevitably have to do on a travel day. So I developed a bit of a headache when I got on the plane and I haven't been able to shake it quite yet. I need to muster up some energy so I can go get some food. I think I'm gonna do a little work that I still need to get done on the computer. I'm going to unpack my suitcase, hang up all of my outfits in the beautiful closet, and then I'll grab a shower or maybe take a nice relaxing bath get ready, put some makeup on this face so I feel alive and I feel like myself again, and then I'll head out this evening. The funniest thing just happened. I was in the bath, just kind of relaxing, about to get ready to go out and grab some food, and I heard the doorbell. And I just thought, certainly that's not my doorbell. I'm not expecting anybody. And then I rang again, and it was a flower delivery. It says, Dear Aaron, welcome to Los Angeles. We look forward to seeing you on Saturday. Sincerely, the Tom Ford Beauty PR team. So sweet. And these flowers smell so incredible. The aftermath of getting ready on the floor by the window so I could have beautiful natural light. While I'm waiting for my phone to charge, I'm just going to enjoy this beautiful sunset. It's sort of tough trying to figure out what to shoot first. I want to take pictures, stories, think about Instagram reels and TikToks and YouTube vlogging. There is so much content in different formats, vertical video, horizontal video. So I'm doing my best to pack as much content creation in as possible but that's why it's a little bit later. I specifically ordered a Bluetooth remote for my camera and I forgot it. 
I brought everything else, so prepared, so organized. But the one thing that I purchased for the trip, equipment wise, I forgot at home. So frustrating and I don't think there's anywhere nearby where I could purchase one. I don't feel like it's worth it. I imagine if I bring my nice camera to the event tomorrow, somebody will help take a picture for me. And I can use the Canon app, that's what I usually use as my remote. So you'll see I took a couple pictures in this outfit right here on this bed. It just takes a little bit longer and it's not as easy. You know, there is a mall. Rodeo Drive is closed, but there is a little Westfield shopping center that isn't very far. And the driver who dropped me off said it's really cute. They have great restaurants, boutiques, and it looked nice. So maybe I'll run over there for dinner tonight. This is my complete look for the night. I'm wearing my cream knit skirt set from Sabo Skirt. Tom Ford pumps. And then it is going to be a little chilly outside, so I threw on this sage blazer just to kind of keep over my shoulders just in case I get cold. I have my phone, phone charger, the little camera, and then this is the gold clutch. I use this constantly, take it with me on almost every trip. So this is the look. look funny but I didn't realize I was gonna look this <laughs> okay so I'm obviously back in the room and I did not feel up for washing my hair that is a decision I might regret tomorrow morning when I have to style it but I have this mask on this I didn't want to skip this is the 111 skin Y Theorem Biocellulose Face Mask. It feels so nice on my skin. I can't even tell you. It feels really nice and cooling. So this is supposed to nourish, brighten, strengthen the epidermal barrier, and to help calm sensitive skin. You have to peel off the little film. And then it covers the entire face. And I'm just feeling instantly relaxed right now. This is exactly what I needed. That pizza is what I needed. I was so hungry after traveling all day and then I had such a bad headache. Like I'm almost a migraine. I just went to the Century City Mall that we passed on our way here to the hotel. It was cute. It was a Westfield shopping center, but they have some really nice stores. And there was a Sephora, a Ritzia, which I've heard so much about, but I had never been to one. They have a Bloomingdale's. Ugh, I have Bloomingdale's. I should not be that excited. I need to not go to the Westfield <laughs> Mall tomorrow and do something different. But I had planned to stop into Javier's, the Mexican restaurant, but instead I just ended up at this Italian place. It looked pretty empty it wasn't really busy and I just had a seat at the bar I was talking to my husband before I left and he said you're gonna go out to dinner right now you're not gonna just order something in and I was like no I'm gonna go out I'm in LA of course I'm gonna go out he's like so what you're just gonna sit at the restaurant by yourself I was like yes of course that's exactly what I'm gonna do what else would I do he was so shocked and it really wasn't that awkward or that bad. It was nice actually to just kind of sit and get some food and relax. And then I knew it was time to come back to the room and fall asleep. Probably need to put a mask on my neck as well. And I think I'll probably just pass out here. Good morning, my first full day in Los Angeles. And this is the morning of the Tom Ford event. Oh, actually, you know what? I discovered this little button right here. Mm 
Ooh. How cool is that? It's about seven o'clock in the morning, so that's why it looks a little bit smoggy, a little bit foggy out there. And it's definitely cooler and a little bit humid out here. So as soon as the sun comes up, it's gonna burn all of that off and it should be a really nice sunny day. You can see, computer on the bed, of course, immediately started working. My skin feels amazing after sleeping with that face mask on. Let's see, let me turn on the lights. I love this. Here we have the closet. Good morning. <laughs> I'm gonna run a bath. Lights. My face definitely doesn't feel dry. Feels really good actually. And then I brought another one of those masks to use before I do my makeup, which will be nice. So I should have fresh face. Let's go ahead and get the bath started. <laughs> I went ahead and I ordered breakfast and coffee from Alfred. And it just arrived too. Perfect timing. Alfred, but first coffee. This is kind of a famous coffee place in Beverly Hills. We do have a Starbucks nearby, but I wanted to go with the local choice. I finished my water bottle from the airport, so I purchased another water. And then if I have time, I have a breakfast burrito because I am starving. The pizza last night was really good, but it was the only thing I had all day. I'm a three meals a day minimum type of person. <laughs> Wasn't enough. But this coffee, this I need. Let's see, I got a latte. Perfect. Oh, yes, this is what I needed. This was a large. Is this large? Does this look large to you? I should have ordered two. I had to make sure this wasn't lip gloss. I have a nude lip gloss with me. And because it's the same packaging, didn't want to get confused. I think I sound a little congested. It's just because I finally got out of bed a little bit ago and I took a nice bath because that tub is so nice. I'm still waking up. I don't feel very talkative, but I'm gonna do my best to talk through this makeup. I need to get some energy going. I should probably blast some music. If I wasn't filming the process, I would blast some music. Let me tell you my plan for the day. It's gonna be a long one. It's our only full day in Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, so we have to make it count. So first off, Tom Ford Beauty Oscar Suite at Hotel Bel Air. It's about a 10 minute drive, so my plan is to leave here by 9.40 in about an hour. And then after the event, I'm gonna come back here. I'm going to change. I will probably have to do some editing and do some work on the computer. It's not ideal, but I will have to do a little bit of work. Somebody recommended the scent bar. Depending on where it is, it's supposed to be a really cool fragrance shop. I might try to go there. Rodeo Drive is walking distance, so I'll probably walk around there first. I'm thinking maybe go to the Grove for dinner. I could go back to that Century City Mall. I mean, that was really, it felt safe. You know, it's one thing to go out in LA if you're like with your girlfriends, with your husband, and you're like having a date night out. But if you're traveling by yourself, I am risk averse. I'm not gonna go anywhere where I feel like I might be a little bit unsafe. And you just never know. So I wanna make sure I'm in busy spots. That's why I'm thinking malls <laughs> instead of just like one-off restaurants. But everything closes pretty early. I don't think I'm in the party scene. That's what's happening. Everything closes pretty early here. The mall closes at nine, which is pretty standard, but even the restaurants were pretty snoozy when I got there. In Miami, I'm used to going out to dinner pretty late. When my husband and I go out for date night, we'll usually go to dinner at nine. We might grab a drink beforehand and a drink after, but usually nine o'clock is our reservation time and it's packed. Sometimes you can't even get a reservation until 10. 
I would like to get some walking in. I brought some activewear as well. Hiking is another one of those activities. Fun to do in a group. I'm not sure solo hiking in a city that you're not familiar with is the smartest idea. But I thought maybe I could get up first thing tomorrow morning and go. Oop, is that my eyeshadow palette? Where's the eyeshadow? There's so much to pack in in such a short period of time. Ooh. I have so many packages. They'll have to wait. I'll be home tomorrow to get them. Mm, there's another one. I just need to make sure the makeup looks good for at least two hours, which should be pretty easy to do. I'm so impressed with this concealer. I'm so happy I picked it up. And the reason I picked it up is because I was invited to this event. So it's the butterfly effect. I wouldn't have discovered this concealer had they not invited me. Something they mentioned when they first sent out the invite is that we are required to wear a mask while we are inside. I was talking to the driver who picked me up at LAX and he said that just recently, I think it was last week, they lifted the mask inside mandate. So you no longer have to wear masks inside. But for this event, and I imagine that it's just a logistical nightmare. You have to worry about the liability. Planning an event right now is probably difficult. So I don't fault them for insisting on wearing masks inside. I was thinking about lipstick. I'll still wear a lipstick. I brought one of my long wear lipsticks that doesn't transfer. I'll probably wear that. I also brought my favorite Tom Ford, but it's a creamy tube lipstick. And I don't want that to get all over my mask. I might wait until I get there and see what, what the situation is. Finally digging into this breakfast burrito. It's not bad. It looks like, I don't know, I guess chicken, some sort of sausage, avocado, egg white. It's really good. We are on our way to the event. Only a couple minutes away and I'll be walking in. The sun is out. It's going to be a beautiful day. Entrance. We are here. All right, let's head inside. Look who I am here with. We have members of the squad. Yes. It's hey. a squad party. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Just with living Tom lavishly. Ford. Yes. Living with Tom Ford. Extra and Beverly lavishly. Hills. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wish you were here. Hi, everyone. My name is Lynn. I am the vice president of education and artistry here at Tom Ford Beauty. And we're super excited to welcome Erin today. The first um, product that we're going to look at is um, a fantastic foundation. It's called Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. This is pretty much your ideal, you know, and quick and easy way to achieve flawless, but in a second skin way, without compromising the three-dimensionality of your face. No caking and no fading. Oh, amazing. Um, it's very, very, very comfortable and incredibly beautiful. And then we introduced with this, um, a brand new primer, which is of course is the perfect companion, especially great 
um, if you're the type of person like, oh, I have to powder constantly, my skin is tend to shine too much. This is like the perfect barrier. It's like, a, I call it like a liquid powder in a way, you know, because it really, and it's completely clear, great for all skin tone. And just, I mean, you're not going to see, but it is a beautiful emulsion, super lightweight, and just boom, Im immediately matte. This is called a creme finish, a creme texture, I should say. Let me put them all next to each other because we have three quads in that, th that texture. The beauty of this texture also, it just feels incredibly silky. And then when you apply it, you have an immediate, immediate payoff. However, you can move it around. Look at this. So easy to blend. Just a little goes a long way. Of course, I, I wanted to show you the progression. Yes, the, I this love that ombre. Incredible, incredible um, uh, um, versatility, right? You can wear it as an eyeliner. You can use it like as a, just almost like to start doing the sculpting your eyes. And it's just incredible super super easy to work with of course now i use my finger <laughs> but you can use brushes absolutely and you get exactly the same thing now next to this let me show you this pop of um of glitter how so i'm just going to show it to you by itself i mean look at this beauty it's just incredibly it's like a platinum. It's like a platinum. Now, when you apply it, I'm going to do this trick because it's really, really spectacular. So this is the eyeshadow. You can apply it right on top. Oh, my gosh. And then you've got almost like a liquid type of finish because the particle of the glitter is so delicate. It's just so delicate. And then the more you blend it, the more it becomes even richer and it really blends perfectly into the, the, the eyeshadow. Oh, that's so pretty. So beautiful. And of course you can use it by itself. And then it's just like this incredible sheen. Literally, this has no color. So you yeah. can apply it on top of whatever you want. My absolute beloved Mink Mirage. Yeah. These are four matte eyeshadows. And they are basically your little black dress. You have to have this type of palette. You can do a smoky with this. You can do a 90s inspired makeup with mm -hmm. this. You can do pretty much anything. You can also think of these as, of course they can be used by themselves, but it can also be the base. New dip I think is absolutely. I think so. I think you're absolutely right. I'm not, I'm your fan favorites right here. Um, why is this so special? First of all, it's a sheer um, texture, uh, but you can also use it dry or wet. And it's just like, again, this second skin idea, you know? So which is your favorite of the new blushes? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's oh my well, goodness. It's like picking you, your you're favorite asking child. Me, you're asking me. It's so <laughs> difficult. Such a difficult question. Um, I think my favorite is probably this one. Um, just oh, the beautiful. right amount of, you know, warm and with a, you know, it's just oh, beautiful peach and then you've got this gorgeous rose. You can use them separately. You can mix them, roll your brush into it. They're incredibly soft. Um, they have rice silk powder in them and lavender oil, actually. Another way that I really like to use this is, let's say, let's start again with our brighter color. But then the second one we can use on the outer part so that you can actually soften the edges of your blush. And it's just really, really beautiful because it's they're so delicate, these textures. They're buildable, they're sheer, but very buildable. It's almost like a foolproof type of technique, you know? Oh, so they're nice. just really, really, really delicate on skin. I mean, I have a huge crush on everything, anything coral personally as well. I'm, I'm obsessed coral, with coral. Blush. So, yes, you know, so. I would say, you know, these two are really, really, really beautiful to me. But then, but then I like them all. I mean, it's t I love this one. Like, you know, this is fantastic if you want to do like a, almost like an invisible contour. You just want to give like a very, very soft, obviously you can 
use this one almost as a highlight. This is like, I, I call it like an invisible contour because it's got skin tone quality, like on you, for example. If you were going to the Oscars this weekend, would this be your foundation of choice? I, yes, I mean, m most of the makeup artists, the celebrity makeup artists that I worked uh, you know, with in, in this week, um, this is a must have for them. It is an absolute must have. But you know, I think that it depends on the person. Some person really want to have like that super matte, super long wearing. So all the celebrity makeup artists, I, they were taking both. They had, I have to have it in my arsenal. Some of them would actually mix the two together. Oh yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. But this reads so beautifully because, I, you know, sometimes we say dewy, you know, maybe doesn't stay on as long and that is not simply not true. If you have great adhesion, if you have great pigment, the dewiness will just be like, the, the, it's, it's like an added benefit at the end of the day, you know, um, and just a lot of radiance. Instead of dewy, I'd rather say radiance. Radiance. Absolutely. Just walked out of the Tom Ford event. This venue is very popular. They have three events today, so they are setting up for a different event. But the entire Sephora squad crew has migrated outside. I cannot even begin to describe how beautiful this location is. The Tom Ford beauty team was so generous. They sent us all home with little goodies. We, can pick, we could pick and choose different items that we wanted to try. So I have plenty of products to share with you whenever I get home. Great tips, great tricks. I just got back to the room a little bit ago. I immediately took off my shoes. My feet were killing me. And then I changed into my robe so I could be nice and comfortable. But lunch was amazing. The entire afternoon, the whole day has been incredible. We basically had the entire presidential suite to ourselves. It was a lot more private than I had anticipated. There were, I think, what, six or seven of us? I think seven or eight Sephora squad members there. That is my style of hotel, the style of architecture, the gardens, the flowers everywhere. If I could build my own luxury resort, it would look like Hotel Bel Air. Every corner you turned, it looked like you were about to head into a secret garden. So many little patios, which I feel like California has the best patio weather. So this is really the place to be if you like to spend time outside. And then after the event, when we finally got all of our content, we went to lunch at a place called Avra, I believe, near Rodeo Drive, and it was so beautiful, delicious. It was so nice to just catch up with everybody. You don't realize the power of seeing people in person until you finally get the group together and you get to exchange ideas and, you know, of course we talked about everybody's different platforms. Being a content creator slash influencer, whatever you want to call it, it can be very isolating. It's kind of a funny thing. You imagine, because it's social media, that it must be a really social job, but it's not 99.9% .9 of the time you usually create your own content, you edit yourself, you're creating yourself, you're answering your own emails, unless you work with maybe a management team. So these rare occasions when you get a group together and you just get to bounce ideas off each other and it's so much fun. It's always so inspiring. I, I feel energized and inspired just having lunch with 
some of the most incredible content creators. My hair and makeup is not looking its best. I definitely need to freshen up before I go out in the evening. So I'm about to jump in the bath, redo my makeup, redo my hair, and get into clean clothes. But before I start getting ready for the evening, I wanna share the goodie bag because of course they sent us home with a bag filled with Tom Ford Beauty products. For dramatic effect, I went ahead and just emptied it out. Let's see, I think these are the new eyeshadow palettes, yes. So this is Tiger Eye. This is Smoky Quartz. And then Rose Topaz. This is the new formula. And let's see, oh, this I'm excited about. We had the option to choose a fragrance when we were there between Rose Prick, Rose Delmalfi, and Rose De Chine. And you know I have had my eye on Rose Delmalfi. I was planning on picking this up maybe during the Sephora Spring Savings event, so now I'm so glad I don't have to. So I have a full-size bottle of Rose Delmalfi. This was my scent of the day anyhow. I have two Shade and Illuminate blushes. This is 06 Aflame. And this one is O2 Explicit Flush. I picked out these colors. I have two lipsticks here. Spanish Pink and Pretty Persuasive. And I also picked up a lip gloss. Do I have two lip glosses? I think there's only one lip gloss in here. This is 24 Honeyed Coral Lip Gloss. Beautiful. Ooh, we have the Sheer Highlighting Duo in Reflex Guilt. Exciting. Then this is Tom Ford Research. This is the Cleansing Concentrate. Another eye-defining pen. Are you kidding me? The best. It's one of my all-time favorite Tom Ford products. The Emotion Proof Mascara. Then we have the Soft Matte Primer and the Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. Just an amazing bag of goodies from the Tom Ford team. Came up to the rooftop restaurant and we are taking some pictures and enjoying this beautiful sunset. The hardest working vloggers in the business. <laughs> Nobody works harder than these girls. All work, no play. <laughs> I am so exhausted. I came back to the room. We took some pictures on the rooftop and then we exchanged videos. I still have my jeans on, but I threw on my pajama shirt and I'm sitting here wondering on a scale of one to 10, how lame I will be if I just get some Uber Eats or order room service for dinner. I'm only in LA for two nights. I know it seems probably pathetic to stay in the room one night, but I just can't be bothered. This is something that I won't get in Miami, but there are plenty of malls in Miami, plenty of great restaurants. So maybe I'm just gonna stay in tonight and enjoy this comfy bed all to myself. Put on the TV, start going through with the thousands of photos that I've taken this afternoon. I wasn't able to order from Javier's on Uber Eats, so this is from Tu Madre. I have four tacos and some chips and guac. It just arrived. My second night in Los Angeles looks a little bit different than the first, but I am so excited to get into this. One more look at this gorgeous view. is here it's time for me to go I just want to enjoy this view one last time beautiful all right breakfast arrived late so I'm going to take it with me this is my little carry-on bag and we are all packed everything is in the suitcase mix matched socks <laughs> in true airport style fashion this is my travel day outfit not the outfit that i plan to wear but it's fine i wanted to be extra cozy so i'm wearing my jeans 
sneakers and then I have a big jacket so I can be nice and comfortable. Goodbye bath. I think I will miss the bath the most. I can't believe I got to stay here. Such a beautiful room. Like this might be my time to shine